Good morning, Kingsley Community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning, November 7th, 2022, using Turning Points, Great Things Gratitude Brings. November 7th is written by Charles Spurgeon. Oh my gosh. No, it's not. Is it? Wow. Charles Spurgeon, that's like an old theologian. He'd been long dead by now. The Secret. John 15, verse 11. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be complete or be full. So Spurgeon writes in March 2022, this can't be Spurgeon. I don't know who wrote this. No. No, it's anonymous. Or maybe David Jeremiah wrote it. (laughs) There's a thought. Okay. In March 2022, CNN reported on the findings of the World Happiness Report, a United Nations publication. The report ranked 150 nations in the world in terms of happiness. For the fifth time, Finland was rated the happiest nation with Denmark, Iceland, Switzerland, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Sweden, Norway, Israel, and New Zealand rounding out the top 10. Also, instructive instructive would be a survey of the most joyful nations distinguishing joy from happiness. In general, happiness is deemed to be based on circumstances, but joy goes deeper. It is a sense of peace and contentment in spite of circumstances. The Bible acknowledges both happiness and joy, but focuses on the latter when it comes to persevering during hard times. When writing from prison from prison in Rome, Paul stressed contentment or joy in spite of his circumstances, a prison in Rome. He had learned to be content, Philippians 4.11. Suggesting it was a secret, verse 12, and realizing I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, verse 13. Christ wants us to be full of joy, to be content in all things. Make sure that his joy is abiding in you today. So this is the quote from Charles Spurgeon. Joy in the Lord should be the loftiest of joy. So again, happiness and joy, two separate things. Happiness is when you're feeling happy because things are going well. Joy is having peace and contentment and persevering in times when things are not going well. So we know that the joy comes from um, remaining in Christ. That's what uh, Apostle John writes. These things I have spoken to you that, actually this is Jesus speaking, these things I have spoken to you that my joy, Jesus' joy, may remain in you and that your joy may be full or complete. So the only way we have complete joy, the only way we can persevere and be joy-filled in, um, in our lives is to remain close to Jesus. So that means studying his word, listening to devotionals, reading the Bible, going to church, listening to... If you have a hard time being joyful because your circumstances change and you just go along with the ride, if you, things are going miserable that day, you're going to be miserable all day, or if things are going well, you might be happy that day, but you don't have an inner sense of peace. You don't have a contentment that even when things aren't going so well, you can still be content and still be filled with joy because... Um, You are in Christ, you remain in Christ, and you know that the joy is the steadfastness, that love that Jesus gives, no matter their circumstances. And so that's why Paul can write, in my weakness, I'm strong. From a Roman prison, he wrote a lot of the New Testament, a lot of um, books or epistles in the New Testament. And um, Philippians 4 is one of them. So now in a Roman prison, this was not one of Paul's courtyard arrests or house arrests. This was a prison in a dungeon below the city where the sewage runs chained up to a Roman guard 24-7. The only way he could eat is if people from his family or followers of his uh, brought him food and water. They didn't give you anything there. They just expected you to die. (laughs) So... Um, so that Paul continued to write, and we know that he probably was mouthing the words, and there was a scribe sitting out his prison cell window <laughs> writing. Um, he might have been given paper, but I doubt it. But just think of the Roman guards that were chained to him and how many of them came to know Christ through Paul's writings and his scribing it or his verbalizing it to the scribe. That's pretty cool. So joy is something that we have only in and through Christ. Happiness is fleeting. Joy is something that 
we have all the time, even in tough circumstances, because we are filled with Jesus who gives us the power of the Spirit, and one of those fruits of the Spirit is joy. You notice one of the fruits of the Spirit is not happiness. Peace, love, joy, self-control, blah, blah, blah. So uh, that's all I know. So, yeah. So have a good day today. I'll pray you out, and I pray that you enjoy the sunshine. Lord, thank you for joy and reminding us that it is a fruit of the Spirit, and it is one that can remain a seed or that we can continue to grow in and through trusting and remaining connected to the vine who produces that kind of fruit in us. Peace, patience, joy, love, self-control, all of that. So we thank you for that, and thank you for your word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Bye.